Affinity Photo has a normals adjustment, which allows you to modify the XYZ component of texture normal maps where the data is encoded as RGB color values. Here is a quick example. I've got the normal map from a texture set here, and I can go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Normals. The Normals dialog is very straightforward. Rotation can be used to modify the angle of the normal map, and Scale can be used to increase or decrease the detail and intensity of the normal map data. Resetting to the default values can be achieved just by clicking the Reset button here. The X and Y axes can be flipped immediately by using these two checkbox options. The Y axis flip is very useful in particular for translating normal maps between DirectX and OpenGL engines, since OpenGL expects screen channel values to be bottom up, whereas DirectX expects them to be top down. This adjustment has another powerful application as well when it comes to retouching 3D renders. Here is an interior visualization that was rendered in Blender. Most rendering engines give you the option of saving out render passes, so alongside the final composite render, I've also saved the normals render pass. I'll go out to my file browser and drag that in to place it. Then I'll switch over to the Move tool, turn on snapping, and quickly align the normal map over the top of the main image. I'll then add a normals adjustment, which I want to clip into the normal map render pass. I can do this by click dragging the normals adjustment over the text of the normal map layer, then releasing the mouse button. Next, I'll add a channel mixer adjustment above the normals adjustment and set the output channel to grey, which will perform a weighted grayscale intensity conversion and convert this normal map data to grayscale values. Finally, I'll select the parent layer which is the normal map pass, and set its blend mode to soft light. You can of course experiment with the blend mode for different results, but soft light works well and is a good starting point. Now what I can do is click the normals adjustment icon to bring the dialog back up, and I can use rotation to dramatically alter the lighting balance in the image. You can see as I move the slider around, that this is a very easy way of shifting importance of objects in the scene. At certain rotation angles, for example, the kitchen worktop has more precedence and becomes brighter. Flip X and Flip Y can also be used to quickly flip the values of these two axes. This will not increase the range of results that you can achieve, but these two options provide nice quick alterations to the lighting nonetheless. And there we go, a quick look at the normals adjustment and its extended usefulness for 3D render compositing workflows. Thank you for watching.